Welcome everyone to another episode of Budget Tech, a show brought to you by Budget Gamers for Budget Gamers. Are you sick and tired of sharing your internet with your household? Are they reducing your game time? Do you get killed because someone is watching too much Netflix? Well, stay tuned, I've got a solution for you. So in today's episode, I'll show you guys how to configure a MicroTik so that you can segregate your network. That means by literally giving a little bit of bandwidth to the rest of the household while you have all of it for your game time. Now, the first thing you want to do is go into the comment section below and click on the link. There's two links to follow. One would be linking you to where to buy the MicroTik for this episode, and the other one would be where to find the script. Assuming you've done both of those things, let's kick right into it. So the MicroTik we're gonna to use today is called a Haplite 4. This is a fantastic piece of hardware. I love this thing to bits and it's super powerful. I'll show you guys in the video. I'm gonna cover two topics in this video with this MicroTik. One would be configuring it in less than a minute and the other one would be showing you guys the actual full process of how to do this. So if you want to learn how to do this, you can stick around till the end of the video. And if you just want a quick glance and import the script, well, the first two minutes max would be ideally for you. Welcome to this very quick tutorial of an overview of how to set up your MicroTik for your home network to segregate bandwidth between home users and your gaming network. Now this is not a professional setup, this is literally just bandwidth management. So what you want to do is you want to first navigate to microtik.com forward slash download. You want to download Winbox. I'm downloading 64-bit as I've got a 64-bit system. Opening it allowed through your firewall. You've plugged in your MicroTik of course and it can show it shows in my neighbor system. The default username and password is admin and blank. You want to log in. Now it will ask you to change the password and reset the configuration. You don't have to do anything. You just say OK and cancel. That's all you have to do for now. The next step is very important. You want to go to system and then users. You need to add a user as this will secure your microtick. You want to give yourself full rights and you want to type in a password. You want to remove admin. Once you've done that, locate to where the file is. I've saved my file on the desktop. Um, if you do not know where this file is, please look in the comment section below. I will have pasted it there. You double click on it or open with notepad. You control A, control C, you go to terminal, it will ask you to sign in, or you can just reboot your MicroTik, whatever is easiest for you. You type in your password. I know it, it looks like you're not typing, but you are typing. You right click and you paste. And there it does everything for you. I've already configured primarily everything that you need for this. This is literally copy, paste, plug and pray. So I'm gonna show you now how to change the bandwidth as each person would have a different need. So you want, want to go to quick set on the left top side. Then at the bottom, you will see, well, actually let's start from the top. You'll see, I call this gaming network, depending if you're gaming on a Wi-Fi network, or if you want to plug straight into the router, you can even plug straight into your own home router. You can then connect the rest of your house to your wi house Wi-Fi. Now you can change this name to entertainment, house Wi-Fi, family Wi-Fi, whatever you want to change it to. As well as my Wi-Fi password is password123. You want to make it a bit more complicated, but I'll leave that in your hands. Then at the bottom, this is the important part. So under guest network, you'll see the limit download speed. So let's say you've got a four megabit network, share two megabits to your house and two megabits to your gaming, right? Now think about this logically. If you plugged in straight to your router, you're obviously getting all the bandwidth and you are only sharing two megabits to the rest of the network. Let's say you've got a 20 megabit network, you can even make this to five megabits. But I'm leaving it for this video as two megabits. That's literally all that you need to do. I've already did the hard work and it's a matter of copy and pasting. You can go ahead right now and test your network and see what it downloads. I will have a step by step on how to do this manually and how I came to writing the script and exporting it to a notepad. So please st stay tuned if you want to learn how to do that. But if you got what you came for, you can switch off right now. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to MicroTik Downloads. You want to go to Winbox, you want to select Download 64 bit, you want to open that, allow access for your firewall. As you can see, my MicroTik is already appearing in My Neighbors. 
So you want to sign in, the default is admin and blank. Once you've signed in, it will ask you to change your password. You can just say cancel and OK. If you want to go to system, then users, you want to add a new user. Please guys, this must be your first step. You want to give yourself full rights and then put in a unique password, something that no one can guess, please. And also something that you don't forget. You want to delete the admin account. You want to go to terminal and it will ask you to log in. You can either restart your MicroTik or just log in by itself. As you would notice, it won't show you the password, but you are typing, trust me. You might want to go to system and then packages, and then you want to check for update. Always check for the latest version of software. You want to say OK. Next, you want to go to quick set. It's under wireless and network name. I'm putting in gaming network, but that's up to your own disc discretion what you want to put in there. You can be creative. If you're gaming on wireless network, you can use this network or you can use one of the LAN ports within the MicroTik. Then you want to put in a password. Be as creative as you can. I'm only leaving this as password123 as this is a test. You can hide passwords at the top and the settings. Hide passwords so you can see it. By default, it's hidden. But of course, I've unhidden it already. Now you want to go to your guest network. You want to type in the guest network that you are going to use for your family. So you can make this entertainment, home network, whatever you want. So under limit download speed, I've put in 5,000, but that's very slow. What you want to do is you want to put in two with a capital M. That's like two megabits of internet speed. So if you have a four megabit network at home, you can keep it to two megabits. That means you only segregate two megabits to the house and two megabits to yourself. Next, you want to navigate to system scheduler. You want to add a scheduler. This is just to reboot your router every night at 12 a.m. Navigate to the left, breach, and then say ports. Go down to the bottom, WLAN 1 and 2, enable both of them. Don't worry, they still say show disabled, but they are enabled. So the next step is you want to navigate from IP to services, and then you want to disable all these services except for Winbox. Now this will keep out hackers or people trying to log into your device remotely. Now you can set up your own IP address to access from Winbox, but I'm just keeping it as default for a test purpose. What is quite cool about the terminal, as you can see here, I'm just doing a test login. You will see that it will show you that every time someone tried to log into your MicroTik, it will show you in your terminal, just as intrinsic. It will also show the MAC address from where it came and what method was using. So by disabling all these services, you are limiting yourself to outside threats. Okay, now for the testing. What I want to do is, first I want to connect to my newly created Wi-Fi. So there's two. One is called Gaming Wi-Fi or Gaming Network, and the other one is House Wi-Fi. I first want to test the Gaming Network. As you can see, I'm typing in the password, password123. I'm going to go click Next and Connect. So the next one I'm going to connect to is called House Wi-Fi. I'm going to type in the password. It's also password123. And this one has been set to 2 megabits per second. And then we're going to give it a test just to see if it actually works. Click on test again. And there you go. It reaches just under 2 megabits. You can make it probably 2.2 just to get the, the solid 2 megabits per second. But otherwise than that, successful run. So that's a wrap for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys adore MicroTik as much as what I do. This is fantastic hardware equipment. It's cheap, it's reliable, and it can do basically anything. If you've not done so already, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you guys soon.